Hello children, hello children, how are you? How are you? I thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for tuning in today. How are you? How are you? Hello my beautiful children, how are you? Welcome to another episode with Miss Glam and the Glam Girl Reads. I have a spectacular read aloud for you today. If you can remember, we've been talking about trees. We talked about animals that live in trees. We talked about things that grow on trees. Can you remember an animal that lives on trees? Go ahead. What animal lives on trees? Oh, you're so right. Birds and squirrels and tree frogs. Do you remember something that grows on trees? What do you remember? You're right. Fruit, apples, and oranges, and even things that we can't eat, such as acorns or cones. You have a very great memory. Today, I want you to put your special thinking cap on. I want you to tie it and make sure it's secure. Tap it. Is it on there? Well, I have some great facts about trees. Did you know that there's an actual job of people who take care of trees? Well, when we get done reading, you're going to be able to name those people. And you're also going to be able to tell some exciting facts about the life cycle of trees. Are you ready? The title of the story is called Growing Trees, and it's by Judith Stamper. Are you ready? Let's hop into our book. This is a picture of my tree and me. We've been growing up together for a whole year. It all began last summer. I went to visit the National Forest with my mom and dad. A forest is a great place to learn about trees. There are trees as far as you can see. We took a hike with a forester an expert on taking care of trees in the wild. The forester showed us small young trees and big old trees that were like towering giants. Then he explained the life cycle of a tree. It all starts out with a seed. In the spring, the warm sun makes the seed germinate to begin to grow. The seed sprouts a small root that grows down into the ground. The root absorbs water and minerals from the soil. Next, a small stem pushes up out the ground and grows to tiny seed leaves. The leaves use the sunlight to give the tree energy to grow. The new growth, called a shoot, appears at the tip of the stem. Larger leaves grow from the shoot. The seedlings is on its way to becoming a tree. The young tree keeps growing if it gets enough water and sunlight to survive. In its next years of life, the tree grows buds that may turn into leaves. Soon, the tree has branches, a woody trunk, bark, and lots of leaves. Each year, the tree grows taller as its trunk gets wider. A forester can tell how old a tree is by counting its rings. A tree trunk has one ring for each year that it has been alive. This tree was more than a hundred years old. A forester can also find out how old a living tree is by using a bore, a tool that takes out a small part of the tree without hurting it. After our trip to the forest, I wanted to grow a tree of my own. Dad took me to a nursery where you can buy flowers, shrubs, and trees. A nursery has trees that have grown big enough to transplant or plant in a new place. A nursery worker showed me trees that have flowers in the spring and fruit in the summer. We looked at trees with soft leaves and trees with pine needles. I chose a maple tree. My tree was already more than four feet high, just a little taller than me. The nursery worker helped me choose a shovel to plant the tree. She recommended organic fertilizer to feed the tree as it grew. Then she went over the instructions on how to plant my tree. 
I picked out a place in our backyard where the tree would have lots of sunlight and lots of room to grow. Then Dad and I dug a hole with a shovel. The hole was as deep as the tree's root ball and about three times as wide. We carefully lowered the tree into the hole. We loosened the burlap bag around the roots. Next, we filled in soil around the tree. I added organic fertilizer to the soil and sprinkled mulch on top. Then I gave my tree a nice drink of water. Dad asked an arborist to check the other trees in our yard. An arborist is like a doctor for trees. She pruned the branches of our big trees with pruning scissors. She checked all the trees for signs of disease. She also listened for bugs using a stethoscope. She looked like a doctor. One of our oldest trees had been damaged in the storm. The arborist used a hand saw and a chainsaw to cut off two broken limbs. I asked the arborist to check my tree. She said it was doing just fine. She added a stake to help it grow up straight. When the weather turned cold, my tree's green leaves turned bright red. Then they twirled down to the ground. The next spring, my tree grew buds that turned into leaves. Over the summer, it grew branches with more leaves. Its trunk grew thicker. This is a leaf from my red maple tree. It has three lobes that have saw-tooth edges. The bark is dark gray and rough with little ridges. All summer, I watered my tree and checked it for insects. It just kept growing. The arborist said that my tree could grow 60 feet high. That's taller than my house. Look at my tree now. It's much taller than I am. If I take good care of it, it will be around for a long, long time. A tree is a great friend to grow up with. The end, and when the story's over, and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in the land of make pretend. Bom, bom, bubbly, bop, ba la 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 And when the story's over, and when we reach the end, if you think you like the story and you want to read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. Let's check for understanding. Do you remember how to tell how old a tree is? Hmm. What do you have to count or what tool do you have to use in order to determine what or how old a tree is? You're right. And do you remember how to take care of a tree, how to grow a tree of your own? Spectacular! And finally, do you remember what three jobs you can have if you love trees and you want to be able to take care of them? Yes. Good job. Oh, wonderful. I am so happy and delighted that you decided to stop by and learn with me. Until next time, so long!